Hey gorgeous, so I have just pulled a card for this week. I've decided I'm going to do them every Monday, not every Friday. I may do one midweek as well, or I don't know, I'll just see what happens. But I feel called to, um, I felt called to pick a card for today, which is Monday to you, but I'm doing this on Sunday because I am filming a few videos right now for the week. Um, Excuse this behind me. I'm in a apartment in Mexico and they have this random like wall art thing if you're wondering what that is. Um yeah, so this is the card that I have pulled for this week. Ready, set, go. And this card says, now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desires. And I'll just, and this is from, just to let you know, this is from the Magical Mermaid and Dolphins card set by Doreen Virtue. I absolutely love this one. This is really good for kind of, if you're an entrepreneur or setting up your own business or if you're self-employed, it's really, really good for that. But it can apply to you in whatever situation you're in. So I'm going to read this to you now. It says, even though you might not feel entirely ready, this card says that there's no better time than the present to dive into your future. You're advised to take both big and small steps to move in the direction of your dreams. Push aside everything unrelated to your life's mission. Adjust your schedule so that the bulk of your time relates to your priorities and goals. Delegate tasks to other people or hire someone to assist you. Your responsibilities will still be met. You'll be happier, you'll enjoy greater self-esteem, and you'll attract more abundance in the long run if you jump in and follow your heart. How cool is that? I love this card, and that's really relevant to me because I was just saying to Rory, like, uh, you know, I've yeah, I've been wanting to delegate some things and I've been considering um, hiring someone to help with something for my business and so that's quite relevant to me so how does that apply in your life right now what is it that you feel this relates to when when I say ready set go what goals what ambitions is there a project coming up that you feel this relates to and that it's time to just get going and um, who can you delegate to what things can you delegate and how can you prioritize your time better? And um, one thing that really helps me is to have a scheduler and to make sure that I'm using that every single day. I actually like the old fashioned like paper kind of diary rather than anything online or on my phone. I find it really helps me to write it down because it solidifies it in my mind when I'm putting it down on paper. Uh, but maybe you've got an iPad Pro and you can do something on there or write something on your phone. Um, and I'm going to look at the picture and just show you this now. So hopefully you saw that. Whoops, you dropped it. See, it's so ready and set. It wants to go. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to feel into this picture and have a look and see what comes through while I'm doing that for you. This is for you. So yeah, what I'm seeing is that it's like the dawn of a new day and that the sun is rising. And so I just want you to know that every moment and every moment is like a new dawn and so if if there's something that you're if there's something that you are trying to achieve right now or if there's something you're aiming for or you've had, like maybe you started some new year's resolutions and um, maybe you've fallen off the wagon with something or maybe something doesn't feel like it's going to plan just know that each moment is a new dawn and you can literally shift shift in a moment you can shift in an instant just from taking a deep breath go outside dance put some music on do something fun have a green juice or a fruit smoothie and then come back to it with a fresh mind 
and, and start over. And don't kick yourself or, um, yeah, don't kick yourself when you're down. If something hasn't gone to plan or something didn't flow in the way you hoped or you've messed something up, don't kick yourself about it. Just be like, okay, acknowledge what's happened, take the lessons and learn from it. And then just know that the next moment is a new dawn. That's what's coming through. Um, so, yeah, stay in this frame of mind, this ready, set, go, even if you've had setbacks. Um, the other thing that's coming through, I keep, I keep, this keeps literally jumping out my hand. It's so funny. Um, I nearly dropped it again. And maybe that's my vegan butter fingers. Um, okay, so the, the next thing that's coming through is that she is, uh, like, she's not swimming herself. She is being, she is riding, she is on this, um, what are they called? I can't remember. I want to say orca, is that right? Anyway, she's on one of those and this to me represents that you don't need to do this all alone. There is support, there is guidance here for you. There are people out there who can help you along this journey, help you along this ride and, and take you and, and guide you there people who've been there before you, who know how to help you, and you can hold on to them and you can lean on your friends and lean on people who are supportive. Sometimes that's not your friends or, um, you know, it might be new people. But the fact that she's... Oh, there's children. Hold on. The fact that she is riding on, on this shows me that she's not alone. She has support. And I feel like, you know, it's really important to allow yourself to actually receive the support you need. I have not been able to do any of what I've been doing in the world without continuously investing in myself and allowing myself to receive support from those people who know stuff that I don't know yet or who are in the space that I want to be in. I always think like, take a look around and hold on a sec. I'm just going to pause this because there's children walking past. Yeah, so there was just some really noisy people walking past the window. Um, yeah, so what I was saying is just take a look around and look at who is where you want to be and get support of people who are where you want to be or hang around with them, keep them close to you, follow them and um, allow them, allow yourself to entrain with their vibrational frequency, allow yourself to entrain with their mindset, with their being and the way that they embody things. Um, yeah, and then also there's lots of little fish and then another dolphin. And I feel like this really represents how you, you know, again, you're not alone and that there is support there. There's other people on the same journey as you. And if you feel alone right now, or if you feel like, oh my gosh, nobody understands me, because this happened to me when I first started, um, you know, admitting or sharing my spiritual gifts and sharing my passions and my pleasures in the world. There were a lot of people that didn't get what I was doing. I knew that I wanted an online business. I didn't want to be working a nine to five job anymore. I knew that there were other options and there was a lot of people that doubted me and it was just a reflection of my own doubts. So but this here shows me that there are other people on your wavelength who are like in that mindset of ready, set, go and, and it's important to surround yourself with those people. And I'm just feeling into this again. Yeah, and so what's coming through is just to allow yourself to be fluid like water and just allow this to flow like you don't have to swim upstream and um, there's ways that you can align with th the things that you truly desire in your life without having to uh, swim upstream. But at the same time, also it does take action and effort and sometimes things might not be quite so easy and that's okay too. And so I'm just receiving the message to be fluid and flow and um, not judge what's coming up for you. And yeah, I also see mountains in the background. And um, what was coming through just then about the mountains was like to just that it may seem, it may seem overwhelming, 
like if you're looking at the peak of the mountain and you see this huge mountain that you have to climb but just know that to, in order to get to the top of the mountain it takes like the first step it takes lots of little steps to get there and to not put too much pressure on yourself to be somewhere you're not and to not compare yourself to others because that comparison can really slow you down. So just trust in your process, trust in your steps um, that are gonna enable you to receive your desires and be at the top of the mountain, looking around at the view, feeling amazing. That takes dedication, that takes commitment, and it takes small steps to get there. And so it's really important, like, yes, how, like, um, allow yourself to be surrounded by people who are where you want to be but don't compare yourself to them or um, let that be a reason for you to feel not good enough because um, it just it like you're you're equal you are equal everybody is equal and your journey is divine in its own right and you have your own divine timing and your own lessons to learn so do not compare yourself to the people you admire allow that admiration to actually um, fuel you and allow you to entrain to that without you feeling jealous or comparing yourself or competing. Let's get out of this competition mindset and into collaboration, celebration, and um, all those wonderful things that um, the world really needs right now. So I think that's it. I think that is it from what's coming through for this reading for you so if there's anything that you know that if there's any support that you know is going to help you to get closer to where you want to be how can you open to that how can you allow that to flow in your life because really that's i feel like this is what this card is saying is like ready set go and you know don't be afraid to delegate things trust that everything will work itself out and don't be afraid to, to invest in yourself and receive the support you need so oh and remember every moment is a new dawn so i hope this helps you i love you all so much thank you so much for being here and being part of my journey and um i hope that i hope that this inspires you and helps you today and I love you very, very much. I will see you again soon, my beautiful Bliss Queen. Bye.